Bobby Blanco here with another series insight at the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank, helping to make a difference. Before we look ahead to the upcoming series, let's take a quick look back at the last time out for the Nationals. The Nats started the second half by dropping two of three in St. Louis. All three games at Bush Stadium had some sort of rain delay, and after winning Friday's suspended game on Saturday afternoon, the Nats dropped the next two to the Cardinals with Josiah Gray taking the loss in Sunday's finale, his first start since appearing in last week's All-Star game. Now the Nats end this road trip with three games on the north side of Chicago at Wrigley Field. The Cubs sit in the middle of the NL Central and just lost two of three to the Red Sox out of the break. Remember, the Nationals did win three of four in D.C. at the beginning of May in the first matchup between these two teams. Mackenzie Gore makes his first start of the second half in Monday night's opener. Gore went 4-7 with a 4-4-2 ERA over his 18 first half starts, though his last start was cut short due to a rain delay. In a rematch of the Nats' only loss in the May series, Drew Smiley opposes Gore for the Cubbies. The veteran lefty is 7-6 with a 4.31 ERA on the year. Though he pitched seven innings of one-run ball and a win over the Nats two months ago, he struggled to end the first half of the season, going 0-3 with an ERA over 11 in his last three starts. Your Nats player to watch this week has to be C.J. Abrams. Since moving to the leadoff spot right before the break, the young shortstop has been an on-base machine, going 12 for 25 with five stolen bases, a 500 on-base percentage, and 12-20 ops. And that'll wrap up this series insight from the PNC Digital Desk, PNC Bank, helping to make a difference.